Thank you for your interest in Calvert County Public Schools online learning program. This video will help familiarize you with the CCPS online learning program and help you understand and navigate the registration process for enrolling in an online course. If you are adding an online course to your schedule and it puts you over seven credits, there will be a cost. Half credit courses cost $225, full credit courses cost $325. The cost of each course does include a non-refundable fee of $25. Bills for online courses during the regular school year will be mailed out from your home school in early October and due the end of November. The bill will also include instructions for how to make your payment. To find the most current information for online courses, please visit the CalvertNet website or contact your school counselor. On the CalvertNet website, simply go to the Student tab and click on the important information heading and select online learning. Let's take a quick tour of the CCPS online learning webpage. Once you have landed on the online learning webpage, you will find links to resources that will provide you with more information to help answer questions you may have about our program. As you scroll down the page, you will come to a link that will take you to the Online Learning Interest Survey. It will be important for you to complete this survey so information can be gathered and your request can be processed. On the website, you will find a list of classes that are tentatively being offered. Please note that not all classes listed will run. Classes run based on student interest and MSDE approval. Revisit the site throughout the year as information is updated. If you're interested in registering for an online course, here are your next steps. As you create your proposed schedule for next year in HACC, add any online courses you would like to request. Your school counselor will be providing you with instructions on how to do this. As you make your course selections, please take note. Half credit online courses end in the letters SO, and full credit online courses end with the letter O. If you do not want to select an online course, make sure your course number that you select does not end in the letter O. If you already created your proposed schedule and later decide you'd like to take an online course, talk to your school counselor. Your school counselor can send your request to the Office of Digital Learning's online course coordinator. Step 2. Visit the CCPS online learning webpage and use the link to complete the online learning interest survey. The third step is an optional step, but highly recommended. The step is to complete the online orientation course in Schoology. This course is designed to familiarize you with online learning and will provide you opportunities to practice the types of activities you'll be asked to do in an online course. This is a self-paced course students can complete independently. If you are not automatically joined in the course upon completing the learning interest survey, you can join the course by simply logging into Schoology, select courses from the top toolbar, then click on My Courses in the top right hand corner. Then select the blue button to join a course. When prompted, enter the course code shown on the screen, then join. Please note, requesting an online course in HACC, completing the online learning interest survey, or completing the optional online orientation course does not ensure you will be enrolled in an online course. 
courses listed on the online learning survey or on the CCPS website may not run due to lack of interest or MSD approval. Spots for courses are limited and priority will be given to upperclassmen. Once your online course request has been processed, you will receive a confirmation email from the online course coordinator, letting you know if you have either been officially enrolled in the course, waitlisted, or if you did not get a spot in the course you requested. If you are officially enrolled, you will see the online course added to your schedule in Hack. Prior to the course starting, you will receive emails with information regarding your online teacher, instructions to access the course's online platform, and a schedule of tentative dates if your course requires face-to-face -face meetings. Any email correspondence will be sent to your school email account and copied to your parents or guardians. School counselors can also check on your enrollment status anytime. If you sign up and get enrolled in an online course and you're still taking less than seven and a half credits, you will not be charged for taking the online course. If you are taking more than seven credits, you will be billed $225 for a half credit course and $325 for a full credit course. The cost of each course includes a non-refundable fee of $25. A bill will be mailed out from your home school early in October. The bill will include instructions to make your payment. Full payment for fall and or spring courses will be expected by the end of November. If you still have questions or need more information, contact Sheila Gearhart, the online course coordinator for Calvert County Public Schools, using the email address gearhartss at calvertnet.k12.md.us or call at 443-550-8089.